Hi, we're going to get into some labor and birthing positions today. Now, my biggest recommendation to you and all of my birthing people is to seek comfort. Your body will instinctively find positions that are going to be best for you and your baby. So find whatever is the most comfortable to you. And the key is to keep moving. Move between resting positions to more active positions throughout labor. The way that you move your body can change the amount of space in your pelvis by 30 to 50%. So don't worry about having a big baby. Instead, focus on moving. Move your body into positions that open your pelvis. Some positions will open the top of your pelvis, the bowl of your pelvis, which helps baby to engage in the first part of labor. And some positions will open the outlet, the bottom of your pelvis, which is going to be more helpful towards the end of labor. And remember that you do not have to give birth lying on your back. Find the positions that feel best to you. So let's get into it. The first position we're doing today is called hip sifting. And you'll need a rebozo or a long, non-stretchy scarf. You can also use a bed sheet. So laying it down, you'll find yourself in the middle of the scarf, bringing it down to your hips. Allow your partner to lift each side and they'll comb it out to make sure it's fully surrounding your hips. When you're ready, they'll gently lift and begin to sift from side to side as you let your legs fall behind. This feels really good for lower back ache and you could do it through pregnancy and through labor. The next technique is a simple side lying position. You can do this, of course, throughout your pregnancy and during labor when you need to rest. The key here is making sure you have tons of support. Use as many pillows as you need behind your back, in front of your tummy. You can even ask for a heating pad to be placed on your lower back and hips for some extra comfort. It's important to alternate between rest and movement throughout labor, so use your birth ball against the wall to continue resting while moving your hips. As we know, squatting opens the hips and allows space for baby to rotate down through the pelvis. So if you have a rebozo or a long scarf, you can tie a knot in one end and seal it in the door. You can also do this with a bed sheet. Just throwing it over the door, pulling the door closed, and making sure it's shut real tight so it doesn't escape. And then use the rebozo or bed sheet for support as you move down into a squat during a contraction or wave. And then when it's over, you can stand up again. Another way to use squatting with a rebozo in labor is for your partner to support you. And you would do the same thing, squatting during a surge or wave, and then standing up when it's over. If you don't have a rebozo or a bed sheet nearby, you can also do this same technique just by holding hands. A great way for you and your partner to both get some rest is to relax into a supported squat. In this position, your partner can place a hand on your chest and your forehead to create some grounding. If it feels better to stand or you just want to have some movement in your hips, you can lean into your partner and slow dance. In this position, your doula or support person can also be behind you to rub your back or do a hip squeeze. A 
Another great slow dancing position is to hook your thumbs into your partner's belt loops. In this way, you both can rest your arms while having some back and hip support. A great seated position to continue movement is to sit on your birth ball. You can just rotate your hips in circles, back and forth, changing directions. You can also lean over your birth ball in a supported tabletop position. This way you can have some back massage or hip squeezes while you're moving your hips. This position is kind of a funny one, but it feels really good in pregnancy and in labor to relieve tension. It's called shake the apples, and it's basically a jiggle around the hips. So you can't hold any tension, it just releases everything. The double hip squeeze. Your partner will kneel or stand in a lunge, locating the space between the top of your hip bone and your thigh bone and then essentially using arms to clamp and squeeze the fleshy parts of your bottom together. You'll hold this for the whole duration of a contraction or wave and then release it when it's over. You can imagine you're doing like a chicken dance, but instead of pulsing and moving, you just hold firm pressure. And finally, this semi-squat lunge position is a great one to open up the hips. You're kind of sitting on your back foot and here you can catch your baby. You can also do this position standing up all throughout labor to create more space. Just make sure to alternate from one side to the other. <laughs> 